hopefully this time around I can explore that uh, cemetery without too much trouble. Ghouls are one of the most overpowered things. Because for whatever reason, it seems like, oh yeah, we're, we're going to increase their health, reduce the damage they take, and give them more attack strength. And it's just like, yeah, that, that doesn't fit in with the entirety of the rest of the game. I'm out of here. And they just give so little experience. I only got eight experience for this fucking thing. Reaper ghouls, they're just not worth it. I have too much health, do too much damage. Or I want. At least the glowing ones are easy to kill. In comparison. Super mutants are easy to kill in comparison. Enclave power armored soldiers are easy to kill in comparison. Where am I? Yeah, I'm not going to go down there. And let's check out the church. Would they really like and accept power armored soldier such as I? In all honesty, I don't give a crap. They'd probably see me run boogity, yell boogity boo, and then run off somewhere. For the punga fruit. Hark! Who goes there? Who lingers at the threshold? What's this? You are from far away, and must be strong indeed to have traveled. If you seek entry, you must be prepared. 
You may not be so brave when you face the... Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the mother of all punga fruit. She stands taller than... Collect her seeds, and kneel before... Yeah, they want me to... They want me to trip acid. Sure, why not? I've seen weirder things in my life. Capacitor charge critical. Already? Watch. Microfusion cells. System shutdown imminent. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So I understand it. Um, charging your... There will be a power system of some sort in Fallout 4, but I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Let's get high. No, that doesn't. That doesn't quite fit in. That doesn't quite fit in at all. Fishing pole. Yes, I understand you guys are trying to be creepy, but quite frankly, it's just not working. A little bit of mold going there. Uh huh. Holy shit! Seriously, how much overpowered can you make the fucking things? It's like, yeah, I have um, I have more health than you. I do more damage than you. Fuck you. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm way the fuck back here. Seriously. Hark! Who lingers at the threshold? What? If the who goes there? Yeah, I gotta invest more points. Capacitor into charge. Melee. System shutdown imminent. What do I even have on my power armor right now? I mean, lower precision, precision phase controller. I wish I could actually unequip this because it doesn't. It it takes up power and it's not really necessary for me to have. Be good for now. Uh, 
Could actually just use some of those fission batteries, but... Yeah, I, I want to keep those for that quest with the lady in the swamp. Okay. So, let's go around the Revenant Reaver this time. Or the Ghoul Revenant, or whatever the fuck he's called. The thing that has way too much fucking health and does way too much fucking damage. Because quite frankly, at the point in which it has that much health, it should be dealing no damage at all. Uh, let's go talk to the lady in the swamp. Do I have enough punga fruit? I need one more wild punga fruit. There's got to be one in our here somewhere. There we go. How many fission batteries do I have? Uh, well, I got five of them. I need seven, don't I? And I got plenty of yeast, I know that. Well, if it ain't my favorite out of towner. We need to get wild fruit, eh? Just as good if a slight weak. I see. I need two more batteries. Any extra batteries laying around, lady? No, I guess not. Uh-huh. Well, at least it's going to be a save point in the middle of this fucking swamp. What grenades do I have? Okay, that's the holy hand grenade. If I can see them first, that is going to be grand. Okay, so they are over there. Yeah, okay, that works. Kind of killed my frame rate, but it works. And he's just shitting out soap bubbles. Why don't we just give them a wide berth then? Cool revenants. Could just be removed from the game because. The theory is, is that they've just been around so long that radiation has made them well beyond anything any normal human could be. Oh, wonderful. I could deal with the locals. Those guys are easier to deal with. Those Kill! Billy Bob! And as soon as they die, I can hit them, and they'll just disintegrate. Moonshine whiskey, 12 gauge shotgun. Whiskey yeast, don't need any of that. Okay, so, let's see, why don't I put more into melee weapons then? A little more into repair. Gracious reader. Puppies, laser commander. Engineer, turn goo and ash into ammo. Hmm. 
Hmm. Those PA mods. Tactics link. Let's see how this does. Huh. Okay, so wearing power armor helmet. I should be able to see these guys. Okay, why don't we try? After that, it's just the uh, guys over there that I do not want to disturb. They're already disturbing enough. my armor integrity doing? Ah, oh, fairly good. Is that... Okay, that that was changed to DT. Okay, cool. There you are! Lots of punga fruit. Vision battery, there we go, cool. There you are! Again, these people have been living in this area for how long? 200 years. 
And they didn't clean up the fucking skeleton living in the bed? I mean, I know they're freaking... I know their intelligence probably has declined over the past 200 years. But you can't say that, like, near the beginning... Like, within the first 50 to 75 years, they should have had enough intelligence to clean the fucking skeleton out of the goddamned bed. Hey, bloat flies. I just see a few more of these guys. Door to bog entrance. Oh, this is fun. This is just fantastic. Very atmospheric. And I got my giant sledgehammer thing, eh? And it's gonna hurt when I hit you with it. 